Yes. Hey guys, I'm Garrick. Welcome to the woodshed. So I wanted to make a video about my first mod for my Audi A4. I've had the car for three years and I haven't done anything to it. When I first got it, it had a, you know, aftermarket grill on it. It had lowering springs and some nice wheels. And I just haven't really wanted to make it unreliable. And so I haven't done anything to it yet. And I just have really been wanting to put some performance mods on it to you know, get a little bit more horsepower out of it without making it unreliable because it is my daily driver. So I wanted to make a video about my first mod. I think you guys will recognize it as soon as I put it on the table. So here it goes. This is it. So I decided to go with an intake system because I mean, let's be honest, who doesn't like a little bit more noise out of the engine? Maybe if you're like an old man or something, which is probably most of the market for people with Audis. Come on, man. I just want to get a little bit more noise out of it. I want to hear that turbo. <laughs> so that's why I went with a cold air intake for my first mod. I know there's some talk about, oh, you're going to get a horsepower boost or whatever. I really don't think I'm going to get much without doing a tune, which I do intend on doing. I think the max I would do with the Audi is maybe stage two. But again, I don't want to make it unreliable. so. Uh, I guess we'll see. We'll see as I go putting things on. I want to make a little series of, of mods that I do. I have you know, a few parts coming in the mail and we will see where it takes us. I'm not going to do like a step-by-step -step install or anything like that. I just want to kind of do a review and you know, talk about it a little bit. There's some other brands out there that I know have better reviews. They're more expensive, but honestly, I got a super good deal on this on Amazon, so I picked it up. So let's put this baby in there. So this is what's in the box. Got your stickers and instructions. So this is the uh, part that goes to the, the front in there. It's actually thicker metal than I thought it would be. It's kind of nice. Uh, all right. So yeah, this stuff is actually a little bit thicker than I thought it would be. I mean, it's sheet metal, but... Um, weather stripping looking stuff that's probably going to go around the outside of the surrounding cover. There's cover that kind of separates it from the engine bay, which one of the things that I have heard is that people say, oh, well, you're not even bringing in cold air because it's just bringing in hot air from the engine bay. But I think this will help with that, bringing it in from the front where the original box was. So here's your hardware. Obviously the high flow air filter. So this is the car, the 2014 Audi A4. Um, I don't have a ton of space as far as camera angles, so this will have to do. I want to get it installed. Again, this isn't going to be like a step-by-step -step install video. Basically, you just take the old air box off, put the new one on, and then I'll review how I think it sounds and what I think it's doing for me. All right, that thing wasn't even held in by anything. What the heck? Weird, okay. I think it's time to break out the instructions. <sighs> Sometimes I get to the point where I don't know what I'm doing and I've reached that point. All right, so Audis love their specialty parts. This looks, it's like a Torx. I don't know if you can, you can't see that. These on the mass airflow sensor, they're like a little Torx wrench with a thing in the middle, like a, I don't think I have that tool, so I'm gonna have to improvise with some pliers. Oh yes. I don't know why they would use tools that nobody has, but I was just glad that I could get them out. Although I'm expecting to have to put them back in, so we'll see how that goes. Sensor's out. I gotta take off this old hose and hose pipe rubber thing. 
I don't know. All right, Audi. This is stupid. Yeah, that was a lot harder than it needed to be. That's what she said. <laughs> okay, a new one's going on. Oh yeah, I totally missed that part. Evidently, I need to take this plastic piece off with these Torx screws right there. So you guys remember these kind of difficult screws? I didn't need to take them out at all. I'm stupid. If you don't have one of these things, by the way, it's like this floppy thing that goes goes on a on a impact driver. I guess you could put it on a drill too. If you don't have one of these things, I think I got it at like Harbor Freight for a couple dollars. Like this thing has saved my life so many times. I've got some feedback for K&N. These instructions are trash. So <laughs> like the, the pictures are black and white. Like spend the extra 50 cents maybe and do a little bit of color, do better angles, like hire a photographer, I don't know. But very, very messed up. What's actually useful is this exploded view on the top. And I'm probably just gonna use this the rest of the time so I don't get confused because this instructions suck. So I guess this bolt goes, you see that? I guess this bolt goes in the bottom here and like expands, possibly. Or possibly. I just almost put it together backwards. I'm really glad I stopped myself. Dang, that actually looks pretty sick. If you guys didn't know, when you have a filter that's round and it's a color, it adds like 400 horsepower, I think. It's a huge power upgrade when it's a different color. If it's black, it's like negative eight horsepower, I think. Yeah, that was the easiest part of it. Right there. I'm pretty sure that's it, but I feel like I'm forgetting something. All right, put it back together. Let's see how it sounds. I found what I forgot, the airflow sensor. I guess that's probably important. All right. That sounds so cool. Okay, yes, this is a good idea. I mean, I think I'm gonna keep the the stock air box. I was thinking about selling it, but hearing this, I don't know if it's something that, I, if I wanted to resell the car, I don't know if I would, I don't know if the person would want that noise. If you don't appreciate it, I don't know if it's something you'd want. First impressions. So, I have had one of these in my cart off and on for several years, and <laughs> I just never got around to it. Because I never got around to it, okay? And a lot of the ones I was looking at were like $350, $400, and I saw this one for a good deal. It was about 200 bucks on Amazon, and I'll link it down below if you guys wanna check it out, but 
I'm sure it's similar prices for other models of cars with this intake, but I mean, for the $200 price point, just the sound, I think it's worth it. I mean, I, I don't know about you guys, but I love the noise. So it, if it's gonna make my driving experience a little bit more fun, then I think it's worth it. If it was like 350, 400, then probably not. So the performance, I don't really feel an increase in horsepower, um, but it will. This will allow me to, you know, do do a tune eventually, which is what I want to do. Yeah, just just this this one mod, the first real mod that I've done, is super fun. It sounds awesome. Um, we'll see as far as with tuning and with you know upgrading some other parts if I get some more performance out of the engine. But again, I don't want to do it too crazy, so. If you guys like cars and car stuff, um, I'm actually a car photographer, so if you guys wanna check out my Instagram for car photography, I'll put the link down below in the description and uh, you guys can check it out if you like it. If you don't, don't, I don't know. But yeah, remember to like, subscribe, and I also wanna do a series with building out the Forerunner. Um, I love off-roading. I wanna do um, a lot of videos based around off-roading. I've got some awesome stuff planned. So go ahead and, and uh, subscribe if you wanna see that as well.